everyone, this is Matt with Matt Sucks At, and today we are playing the infamous Five Nights at Freddy's. This game is insanely popular for very good reasons. I've played around with it uh, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I'm not very good at this. Um, <laughs> I've seen Markiplier's Let's Play of it, and I have a couple friends who highly recommended that any of this gets onto the game list. So, I figured after a two-month hiatus from technical problems, we're finally back on track. What better way than to dive in with Five Nights at Freddy's. Start a new game here. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a family pizzeria looking for security guard to work the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor cameras in church. Not responsible for injury or dismemberment? Oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. 99% power. Now, I've made it through night one. That's as far as I've gotten in this game. <clears throat> Blue cupcake. I, that looks like Deadpool. All I see is Deadpool. When it comes to that fan. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you. Then why not? get settled in on your first night. Then do it. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So, let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Okay. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or a person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, uh, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware... The characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Oh! Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. You know? Gross. Uh, now, concerning your safety, uh -huh. the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, yep. if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Mm. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, yes. They don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Good night, good luck. <clears throat> yeah, so I've made it past this night before, um, which is why you might have... Ah, son of a bitch, he's moving already. There you are. There you are. I see you, motherfucker. Uh... That's why I kept checking between Pirate Cove, because I wanted to see if he moves. Because I've made it into night two, and I've gotten him to start moving, so... Game. And now I wait. Okay, um... Quit singing, please. 
stop that singing. I can hear that, and that's very dis that's very, very distracting and very, very nerve wracking. Oh God, this game. I think I've had a bottle of whiskey next to me, or rum rather. It's my uh, it's my anti Fosbear medication. Doctor's orders. I should do drunk gaming Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> oh my god, that would be great! Hello! Bro! Bro! Why do I do that, bro? Oh, Jesus Christ! That is terrifying. That... That is alarming. God! Look at those soulless eyes. They pierce right into your very soul. so much. Uh, I love this game, but I hate, I hate the waiting. Uh, where the hell did he go? I'm not okay with, and this is definitely one of them. Oh my god. Where is he? I'm not sure, because the, the the teaser image for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 makes Bonnie's gender, I don't know if you would give animatronic creatures a gender, but implies that they would be female, but let's see.
Let's do this. Night two. Night two. 12 a.m. Second night. <laughs> Alright. I got this. I got this. This is, this is a, I cannot be at night two. That's where I'm stuck. Answer the damn phone. Hello. Hi. Hello, Hello again. Uh, well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats. I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? <laughs> uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So of course if, they if you are. can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might oh, only have a few seconds to react. Okay. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, yeah, also, you. Uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. Aye. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. You know, like you'd be in danger. Screw you, you told me I would be getting freaking impaled last night. Ass. this game gives me is it's Whew. the anxiety this game gives me is really something <laughs> shit I knew he was there, and you're just... Oh, I hate this game. Thank you for watching this episode of Matt Sucks At. We're not done here, Freddy Fuck you. Freddy Fuck Boy. We're not done here. Make sure if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, because, oh my god, we are not done here yet, buddy. Fucker. Thank you for watching Matt Sucks At. I'll see you next time.